Hey everyone, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with a crochet tutorial for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to crochet your own cute little scrubby. So what we need to do to make this scrubby is have a crochet hook with the appropriately sized scrubby yarn. So scrubby yarn is a little bit different than a yarn you'll run, you'll run into every day. There's a little bit more roughness to it, which is why it makes great things like scrubbies for scrubbing your dishes. Um, but for demonstration's sake, I'm going to use this roving inspired yarn because it's a little bit easier to see what I'm up to in the video. So just keep that in mind as I work. So what we're going to do to make this scrubby is start with a magic ring. So we're going to wrap the yarn around our fingers, hook the far piece of yarn, through the ring and we're ready to get started. Now we're going to chain three, which counts as a f our first double crochet stitch. One, two, three. Then we're going to do nine double crochet stitches into the ring to get started for a total of 10 double crochets in our round. So there's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight, and nine. Then since we used the magic ring to get started, we can pull on the tail to tighten this all up before joining into a round with a slip stitch. And there's where we will slip. All right, now the center of our scrubby has been formed. So again, we did a chain three and we did nine double crochet stitches into the magic ring we started with. And now we have this great, perfectly shaped circle to start the, the next round with. So the thing with this kind of round little scrubby, other than using the scrubby yarn, is that all we're really doing is forming a flat crocheted circle. So what we're going to do is just increase at the same rate outward until the scrubby is the side we want it to be. So what we're going to do then for round two, we've done our 10 stitches around in the ring. We're going to start with a chain three again. And we're going to do two double crochet stitches in each stitch around. So this chain three that we started with counts as our first double crochet in this first stitch. So now we're gonna double crochet one more time in that first stitch. And from then on, we're gonna double crochet twice in each stitch around. So our stitch count at the end of this round will be 20. So there's one double crochet into that next stitch and a second one into that next stitch. And then working in the stitch after that, there's our first double crochet and our second. And I'm going to keep working in the round like this till I get to the far side where we'll join our round with a slip stitch and I'll show you what to do next. Now I've worked two double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around our soon to be scrubby. And what I'm going to do next is join with a slip stitch. So we're going to work into the top of the third chain of that three chain we started our round with and we're going to slip that stitch to finish off our round. Now for the third and final round of this scrubby, and again, you can work more rounds increasing at the same rate each row, or you can stop after this one depending on how large you want your scrubby to be. Um, for this one, we're going to double crochet once and then double crochet two in the next stitch. So this chain three counts as our first double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet twice in the next stitch. 
like so. And then all the way around, we're going to repeat double crochet once, followed by double crochet twice in the next stitch, like so. And we'll continue all the way around, and our stitch count will jump to 30 by the end of this round. So when I say that you can make the scrubby even bigger if you increase at the same rate, what I mean there is that, so for the first round we did two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. Then the round I just demonstrated was double crochet one, then double crochet twice in the next stitch. If you wanna continue on, for the next round you would double crochet twice and then double crochet two times in that third stitch all the way around. And each time, because we started with a multiple of 10 stitches, we would be increasing by 10 each time and we would be up to 40 after that one. And for the round after that, just to confirm that your math is right if you're trying it for yourself, you'll double crochet three times and then double crochet twice in the next one and repeat that all the way around. But the nice thing about scrubbies is that most people want them to be fairly small, so you can use them until they get used all up and gross, toss them, make another one in just five or 10 minutes, and you'll have some really great scrubbies to use in the kitchen. If you have any other tips or tricks or questions for us, let us know in the comments and tune in again soon for more crochet tutorials. Mm -hmm.